Culture Minister Julia Lopez hit out at the BBC's plans to make cuts to local radio before MP Sir Mike Benning blasted Gary Lineker's salary. In the Commons, he suggested the salaries of top paid presenters including Gary Lineker could be used to help fund local radio after the BBC announced cuts which will result in the loss of 48 jobs. Lopez began, overall, we do have concerns about the proposals, which we were not given notice of. I want to take this opportunity to stress that the BBC is rightly operationally and editorially independent from the government, and decisions on service delivery are ultimately a matter for them. However, the government is disappointed that the BBC is reportedly planning to make such extensive cuts to its local radio output. She continued, for those older residents living in rural areas, it can be a particular lifeline. The BBC must make sure it continues to provide distinctive and genuinely local radio services with content that reflects and represents people and communities from all corners of the UK. We recognize in the current fiscal context the BBC, like other organizations, is facing difficult financial decisions. But we are also concerned that the BBC is making such far-reaching decisions, particularly about its local news provision, without setting out further detail on how it will impact its audiences and the communities it serves. Penning, the MP for Hemel Hempstead, added, the public trust local radio, like they don't trust Newsnight or the Today program. Frankly, because they don't listen to it and they trust local radio. If it's about money, then take half a million pounds out Gary Lineker's salary or one of the others who earn extortionate salaries. Lineker was the BBC's top earning on-air talent from 2021-22. The match of the day presenter took home a salary of between £1,350,000 and £1,354,999. The BBC has previously confirmed it needs to save £285 million after it was announced that the licence fee will be frozen for two years. Under new plans, the 39 local radio stations in England would share more shows. Local radio stations would keep their own schedules from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. but often share programming after that. This proposal includes having a single All England show from 10 p.m. On Monday, BBC Director of Nations Rodri Talfan Davis said, the plans will help us connect with more people in more communities right across England, striking a better balance between our broadcast and online services and ensuring we remain a cornerstone of local life for generations to come. The Conservative Chair of the House of Commons Digital, Culture, Media, and Sport Committee, Julian Knight MP admitted he had concerns over the proposals. There are very real concerns over potential loss of local distinctiveness through these proposed cuts, he said. Labour's shadow media minister, Stephanie Peacock MP, added, the government's looming threat of scrapping the licence fee while providing no alternative model has done nothing but further destabilise the position of the BBC. The consequence of this instability is now showing.